some foods that are directly linked to cancer. And studies show that by simply having a healthier diet, you can keep a healthy weight, which can reduce the risk of cancer. Here to tell us more is our favorite health food guru, Chef Pete Gioni from Canyon Rinse Spa at the Venetian. Welcome, Chef. Thank you, sir. So October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. What are some, I mean, when you change your diet, you can really uh, affect the body. What are we looking at? You can. Food will help you in three ways. And when we look at the realistic statistics, 1.6 million people will be diagnosed with cancer this year alone. It's mm. one in two men, one of us, mm -hmm. one in three women. So the statistics are crazy. And what food can do is it can... Uh, help those free-floating cells that are already in your body to help them die off before they even settle in and be able to reproduce. The other thing is you can change your body's environment. So if they do settle into your tissue, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to be an unfavorable environment. It's not going to grow. It's not going to cause as much damage as it could. And the last thing is that if you eat a clean diet full of anti-inflammatories, it's going to help your body be more receptive to medical treatment, mm -hmm. and you'll recover faster. Now let's talk about some of these foods here that you have here in front of us, and what's the benefit of eating them right here? We have some, some tomatoes there. Well, no, no, sorry, we have some onions down there. What do you have down here? So onions and garlic are at the top of the list for anything from brain cancer to lung cancer to, to uh, other internal cancer cancers that um, really are strong, effective fighters. And then if you add things like tomatoes and cooked tomatoes, fresh tomatoes, uh, cabbage is another one. Now, why is it tomatoes? I think tomatoes are healthy. Why do, I want, why do I want to do cooked tomatoes? So tomatoes are great. So if you compare a fresh tomato to a potato chip, the tomato is always going to be better. But to make it go from good to great, mm -hmm. if you cook it, you release that lysopene. And it's the same thing with garlic. If you chop it and you let it sit over time, over 10 minutes, it's going to develop the properties that will really help fight cancer. That's how, so I, know, I knew tomatoes were healthy. I didn't know the, the main process is to cook the tomatoes. It's that red pigment that you want to get out and you want to get it active and you want to absorb that into your body. We have uh, ginger down here, the benefits of ginger. This is actually turmeric, very oh, similar hey. to ginger. <laughs> but uh, turmeric is one of those superfoods that are out there. It sometimes is in drinks, so you got a great uh, tropical turmeric wild tonic kombucha, which is a fermented tea, and we'll talk about tea in a second. But the benefits of turmeric are a huge anti-inflammatory, but mixing it with a little bit of black pepper makes it 2,000 times more absorbable by your body. That is amazing. So if you put that into a juice, put some cracked pepper. If you're taking a supplement, you could take a peppercorn just like a pill and swallow it all together, and it's going to be that much more absorbable. It's going to enhance it that much. Absolutely. Okay, we're about less than a minute here. Let's talk about the drink here. Sure. So green tea is, is a huge. It directly fights those cancer cells, mm -hmm. and it can really help your case. And if you want to prevent it, just drink it ahead of time. But if you let it steep for 10 minutes, again, it, the 10 minutes seems to be the magic number, and it helps develop those properties, it releases those properties, and if you steep it at a fairly low temperature, you won't burn the tea leaves, but you'll develop the properties in which you can drink it, you can reheat it, you can ice it and drink it within 24 hours, and you could add lemon to it and all fun flavors. We've got less than 30 seconds. What's the sure. dish here we have in front of us? It's this one right here, but what goes into it? I'll leave it right for there. Sure, we've got it's just a great salad and a little bit of uh, pomegranate vinaigrette with a little bit of red wine vinegar in there. Mm -hmm. There's more garlic, there's more shallots, which is another onion family and it's just a great way to kind of toss these together and, and we can kind of plate and use some great vegetables we got some sweet peppers and some cucumbers and you chef have a great event coming up here later on this month what do we have so if you want to experience some great food we have 30 chefs coming to the world market centers october 19th saturday from seven to nine come out and join us and get a sampling of what great food really is it's uh, little tweaks in your diet can extremely change your health Thank you so much, Jeff. That's great. Yes. Appreciate it. So Thank the you. Flavors for Life, as we're talking about, the gastronomic affair, it's happening October 19th at the World Market Center. Visit flavorsforlife.org for tickets.